new mic system I hooked up here. I got to, well, I got it yesterday. I hooked it up today. I didn't feel like fooling with it yesterday. And uh, I was going to get one of the the balls like you got there, TR, you and Blue. But I got to reading some reviews on it. And it's not, it's a hit and miss whether it's compatible with the, uh, Windows 10. Oh, yeah. So I just didn't get one. I thought, well. Yeah, I can yeah. see that because I know my webcam that I use for this desktop computer, it won't work with my laptop that has Windows 10 on it. So, yeah, I bet they, I could see being issues with Windows 10. Yeah. Of course, yeah, I've one. got one of those, and it won't work on my laptop either. It'll work on my other PC, but it doesn't work on the Windows 10 on the laptop. So I picked up a newer NW700. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on it here. I, while I got the video made, I just ain't uh, did any work on it or anything. Get it ready. So. Well, you sound good, man. It's loud and clear. I don't hear any background noise or anything. So you got a winner, I'd say. Well, all the reviews on it was good. So, and, and it, But it's got a, a phantom power source you got to have with it because it being a condenser type mic and it come in the whole package i mean it's got the, the boom on it and everything it come with everything and it's usb port you plug the mic and your headphones into usb port instead of the other side and i don't know i made about i don't know seven or eight test videos you know today with it you know different settings and stuff like this so we'll and we'll see what happens you just wanted to look all professional with that boom mic hanging down in front of no, you. No, really. I, I'm trying to get it up out of the way because I don't <laughs> want it there. I wanted it low down here, where, but it, this boom kept coming right across the screen. So I said, well, that ain't going to work. Uh, it works fine, man. <laughs> Daniel, you got, a, uh, you got a link out there if you want one. Well, I guess what we'll do, we got a few people out there now. We'll just go ahead and jump right into the elephant in the room, and that's this new uh, supposedly YouTube uh, policy they got for us. Dan, you want to take off with it? I, I I don't have too much more than what everybody else knows. Um, there have been uh, many people trying to dissect the language, but in my estimation, it's – you know, if you look at the people that work at Google, there are a bunch of 22-year-old liberal kids. And these are the people that are making the decisions to our destiny. And they're, they're the ones who have been reviewing our videos all along, deciding whether it should be monetized or not. It's been so inconsistent, it's unbelievable. I have to believe that a lot of the decision-making is going to fall on their laps, and they're going to basically... Uh, start striking our channels. I mean, I I, I read the, the new policy. It said anything with full auto. Well, I've got a bunch of full auto on, you know, and there, I've got, matter of fact, uh, four that I can think of. I've got uh, bump stocks on there. I'm, I'm The day this goes into effect, I'm three strikes away from the channel eliminated, and as well as everything else, and I think we all are. So, um, and, and TR, I heard your explanation on your chat. I, I, I heard that and I understand that. I don't trust the people making the decisions. And, uh, you know, if you, if you look at the language, it's very loosely written. They are not a, a well-oiled machine where it, you know, it's, a, it's predictable. It's actually very unpredictable. And I'm searching out other platforms. <laughs> You know, well, even with what I said, you know, the way it reads is one way, but they also throw in there a couple of times, but not limited to. So yeah. it's up to their interpretation. Right. And that's going to be that. and then the thing that gets me is that, that I know then there's probably several things I could be hit on with that loose interpretation, but, but definitely like on the, the manufacturing ammunition, I'm assuming that could only be reloading and, you know, I can't even, I couldn't even find the videos that I've probably got pieces of reloading and stuff in and, you know, to, to get rid of them if I was trying to. But I think I, 
I'm just kind of sick of it at this time. I'm not going to worry. I did pull some videos off there, but I'm not fooling with it anymore. I'm kind of sick of the, the way the format's going, all the new stuff. It's getting harder to navigate. And, and I'm just kind of like, Dan, I'm just looking for another place to go. And hopefully I can hook back up with the, a lot of you guys and, and all. It's just, it's leaving a real sour taste in my mouth. And, not nearly like it was a video the other day where I'm like cussing and stuff, but I'm just, I'm tired of it. Well, what do you, what, a, I hadn't really decided on what my plans are as far as future videos. I, I'm really not going to worry about past videos. Um, if I kill the channel, they kill the channel, you know, I had a good run. That's all I can say, but I'm not sure how to go forward. I don't know if I should, you know, cause I don't always do gun videos. It just seems to hear, for the past year or so, if most of the videos are guns related somehow. Um, so I'm not really sure how to go forward. I don't know if I should just lay back and kind of wait and see, or just keep doing the same thing and see what happens. I, I'm, I'm kind of at a co coin toss at the moment. Yeah, that's well, me. I'm just going to kind of keep doing, doing it till they probably kick me off, you know, and it may be sooner than later, you know, just, just going to do whatever. Well, you know, well, it's that, like TR talked on his uh, video the other, or video, his chat the other night about the manufacturer of ammo. It's such a gray area when you say manufacturer of ammo. We're reloading. We call it reloading. I guess there's a gray area you could say, yeah, we're manufacturing our own ammo, even though we don't sell it. You know, it's such a gray area on that. It kind of bothers me on that. I don't have a lot of reloading videos out there, but, uh, you know, I don't know whether to put them on private or what yeah because it kept talking about direct sale and and um you know at the beginning when it's talking about firearms and stuff and, it's, and mainly it seemed like it was talking about converting it it technically didn't say showing a full auto gun it was just say showing how to convert one to full auto or you know to, or or making it seem a full auto like bump stock, but it kept saying manufacturer or like direct sale, direct sale, direct sale. And then it went into the manufacturing ammo. So I don't know if they were still implying like you were manufacturing ammo to sell, you know, I mean, well, like you guys said, you know, it's kind of so gray. They might could interpret it as just reloading your own ammo, but it don't really technically say that, but it kind of does. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Yeah, I know. I, when you was talking about it there the other night, uh, of course, I was, it was in the morning when I watched it. Uh, I want to apologize to everybody out there for my voice because I've had bronchitis for a couple of weeks. So it's kind of crappy anyway. I was even suspect whether we should you know, have his chat. That's why I didn't notify the guys till yesterday. And usually I do it on Monday, but I thought, well, we'll just uh, <laughs> wait, take a wait and see. But yeah, that word manufacturer, you know, it's just, stuck with me you said yeah you know manufacturer selling but even though we don't sell our ammo but it's still that like i said that gray area we're manufacturing ammo we're just not selling it well it's to me it, i kind of and in, in it's of course it's loose interpretation but to me like they're they're talking about like like how to stuff like if you show show how to assemble or how to disassemble how far does that go does that go if i if i break down my gun to you know strip it down to clean it is that disassembling and manufacturing am i showing or you know assembling am i showing people how to do it and that's kind of where i the way i take the the reloading stuff it it's showing people how to make their own evil ammunition, you know, at this point in their minds. And, and, and maybe I'm way off track. I hope I am, you know, but I, I don't know. It just, it seems like we're up. We've, I've kind of always thought we've been on borrowed time, you know, with guns and stuff on this format, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. No, they've been slowly chipping away at this for a while now. I mean, it was like last year we were talking about the same thing. And it just seems like now, based on what has happened in the country, that it is really highlighted. And it's always been a matter of time, in my opinion. Like, it was last year at this time where we saw Hickok's channel removed over, they said he was selling 
guns for buds or whatever the case. And then they got rid of Jaeger's channel. Then they got rid of Hank Strange. He, he got it back. This has been a long time coming. We are dealing with a bunch of California liberals who are running the show. We are using their platform, which is kind of a mistake. I mean, when we first started, we didn't think it would be uh, like this. It was pretty wide open to do what you want. That's all changed. And, and now these guys are calling the shots. So whenever there is a good platform to jump to, I'm ready. I don't care about the Google money. I don't care about, like, I don't rely on Google money. I don't think anybody on the show right now does. I want to be able to have my voice heard. I want to be able to listen and watch other people have their voice heard. I want to watch reviews. I want to do everything we're doing here, but I want to do it in a way where we're not walking on eggshells and worried about some freaking 22-year-old liberal telling me or you guys how things are going to be. And, you know, and it's got to be somewhere. I think if not now, somebody's developing something. And you know what? I'll be happy to jump over there. Have you checked out the full 30, Dan? I know um, you're, a big enough, you're a big enough channel. Uh, yeah, they, they, never, they never invited me. It's by invite only, and, and they didn't, uh, they never invited me. When it first came out, I was interested, and I haven't done a thing since. Well, okay. One thing I wanted to address with you, Dan, I know, when, you know, a lot of your, in the way that the reading is on this, how is this going to alter your reviews? Because I know a lot of times you say, you know, it's on gun broker for 350 or less than 300 but. You know, it's basically selling the gun, not you selling it, but yeah, that out there like that. How's that going to alter your videos? Um, I'm not going to change it. You know, if 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 they want to get rid of me, there's more than enough content for them to get rid of me, and so it's it'll just be a matter of time. Um, and and I think all of us have links to the the site in which our viewers can go and go and check out the stuff that we're reviewing and that's in the new policy as well. So, you know, I, I don't know. It, I'm like rich, you know, we just, we'll keep doing what we're doing. When we get bounced, we'll get bounced. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be backing up all my stuff on an external hard drive. And, you know, when it comes, it comes, I think, like, I, I just made a video. I put it up about an hour ago. I I really think this will be, this could be something good in the future. Right now, we don't like it because we're all here. We're comfortable here. We've gotten comfortable with, let me say it again, a bunch of California liberals running the show of what we do. If we find something that grows and can be, just as good, if not better, then you know what? I don't want to walk on eggshells. I don't want to worry about what I have to say or avoid or all this stuff. You know, we 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 have our own way of doing things, and that's what makes this special. If if it can't be special anymore, say la vie, goodbye, or go find somewhere else. You guys might be more familiar with it than I am. As far as a big name that's out there that's a, a social media site, can you put, I think you can, can you put videos on Instagram or is it just pictures? You can, but they're, it's, they only want them like 15 seconds type videos, uh, okay. TR. It used to be a converter that you could uh, put your video on there, but it, it would only take it 15 seconds while they was losing money. So they cut that out. So now you could just, I don't know how long a video you can put on, but yeah, there's people put videos on there, but it's just like a little footage type stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to think because the problem with trying to compete with YouTube is they have such massive servers and resources for us to do this. And um, it's going to be hard for a new company to compete. I'm not saying it can't happen. It won't happen. I mean, but 
you're just really limited right now. I know some people are talking about uh, Gun Hub or whatever that new Gun, gun tube. tube. From what I understand, I know Buddy My Tool Monkeys tried to use that, and it took him like hours to upload a video, and then once it finally uploaded, it ain't there no more, or was never there, and, it, yeah, and then it's just a gun community type thing i don't know that i just don't know that that's going to compete because youtube's just wide open somebody could be looking at tractor pulls and come across one of our videos on a a, a shotgun and watch it you know what i mean i mean they're not necessarily there for guns for here on youtube on guns i'm not trying to praise youtube i'm just saying it's going to be hard to compete of course, if they kick us all out, we will have to do something. I don't know. I mean, I, <laughs> it's a, it's a real challenge. Like uh, I'm on that, I got an account on that gun tube, and I'd put up like about eight or ten videos, and I, uh, I think they're all gone. We we've overwhelmed their servers like within just a, a few days, and they're they're redoing their servers now. And I may not even have an account anymore. I don't think I do. I think it's been wiped out because they've. Uh, they've redone the servers and now I, it's not even, it's slowly coming back up, but I, I have a feeling that, that it'll get too overwhelmed and kind of like that guy, I don't know his name that does like that full 30, the VSO guy or whatever. Um, I saw, I watched a video on him and he was talking about wanting to do something with full 30, but, uh, and I've heard this from him before, like a, a year or two ago, he's going to need like 150 grand or some crap to, you know, get servers set up to, to get things going. And like you said, TR, it's going to take a good little chunk of money for somebody to provide just the servers to be able to handle, you know, literally thousands of people coming on at once, you know, trying to throw videos and all it's got to be overwhelming for, for somebody. Well, and there's already, I'm sure you guys have already seen the stories. Somebody mentioned it out there in the uh, comment section. I forget the channel. I know there's at least one big gun channel that's on Pornhub now. They started putting all their <laughs> videos on Pornhub because yes. they have the capability. They have the servers. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'm not saying I'm going to Pornhub to put my videos up. But if they splinter off a subsection of their, they, they actually have the capability to do it right now if they wanted to. So we'll wait and see what they do. They could actually come up with a little, you know, it may be attached to their servers or whatever, but have a separate category and actually compete with YouTube. I don't know if they've even thought about it, but now that a big gun channel's gone over there, they may be some wheels in action working, thinking, hey, you know, there's advertiser dollars here. That's a great point, Tiara. I, I need that on my bank account, like showing where I have my porn hub instead of the ad set. <laughs> Somebody uh, put that in the comments, call it Freedom Hub, you know. Have, maybe they can come up with something to the porn hub, call it Freedom Hub or something like that. Well, the one thing that, that YouTube offers is the Google search engine. If you go to your analytics after you put up a video, you could see that, or even prior videos, you could see that, um, you know, you search a certain gun, you may run across a reviewer who you never even heard of, but it's on their search engine, and that is the largest search engine in the world so wherever we end up it's it's going to be totally fresh and new and we're all starting on a level playing field there's no uh, multi-big channels we'll all be really small channels and to get on the the google search engine it, it's going to be tough because they will have control of that as well so you know, you, you're going to have to maybe get views from, uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think it'll ever grow to where it's at now, or at least it'll take time. Google runs the show. 
Yeah, Southern Style 357 says Google's is more of a problem than YouTube. I wish YouTube was a separate entity. Yeah. Seems like all this crap started when Google took it and bought it out or took it over, whatever it was. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody mentioned in the chat that um, Daily Motion is a good place to go. Looks like Midas well be did. Um, I called them today. And a while back, they they had they had sent me something, and I didn't think much of it. But now I'm thinking a lot of it, you know, because they have the servers that we were just talking about, and they they run everything from what I could tell. So we'll we'll see we'll see where where we go. The one thing that's going to kill this though is if we all go in separate directions. That's the part that's going to hurt. Because, as you know, um, I don't think the fact that we're all here makes it easy for viewers to watch our content. If we all go in separate directions and you have X amount over here, X amount over there, we, we're just not going to get the traffic that we do here. Yeah, the right. main thing for me is going to be like, just like what we're doing right now, to find a place where, where that can be done. Because because I don't really care that much about the videos so much anymore. I could put those up on Facebook, you know, and it, it doesn't really matter, you know, because it's not like I was ever really making any money or I could just, I could just make videos and, and, you know, get lots of hard drive to, to store it. And it's mainly for like keeping record for, for maybe relatives and stuff. If I pass kind of like what pops was talking about in a video a little while back. And so, so I'm just looking mainly for like doing like a hangout type technology, which there is stuff out there to do that. But then like Dan said, getting all of us together on that same format might be a challenge at that point. Alan B. Pro put daily motion is partly owned by Bloomberg Corporation. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's great. Okay. I hadn't heard that. He just put in a comment out there. Yeah, that'd be, and he'd really welcome us, wouldn't he? You'd end up in the same boat we are now. You work your yeah. butt off to to build up your audience over there, and next thing you know, they're gonna change their policies, and you're right back to where you were. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to wait, take a wait, see. I guess Daniel, you're awful quiet. What are you, what's your feelings on all this crap? Well, I had a subscriber make a comment, wanted to know why the gun manufacturers, ammo manufacturers, NRA doesn't come up with a site for us all to go to. I mean, them combined, I mean, could put up a platform where we could go. I mean, so, I mean, that, that sounded like a real good idea. And I can't remember who it was, so I apologize. But it was Seller, I think. Seller... Eight five nine or whatever. He had a really oh, good idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said he said that, that that's where I heard it from. Seller five ninety nine or five five nine. You know the one thing about you know, and and I like that idea. I think it's a great idea and all that. But if that's the case, then are we are we gonna make our videos as slaves to the the manufacturer that funds this? So if if Glock funds this thing and you want to put up an anti-Glock video, are they going to be the ones to take it down? That's you know? why That's why it's got to be a multi-corporational setup. Yeah. I mean, we're, we are their customers. One thing I've learned is, uh, although a lot of gun companies work together, matter of fact, I think we'd all be shocked at how often, you know, a gun company makes a barrel for another company or they make the frame. Like, this happens all of the time uh, they they work together but at the same token many of them can't stand each other like they they like really uh, dislike each other the people don't get along they don't communicate things like that and a lot of them are hurting right now like they're laying off staff because they're not selling guns the way they were and i i've seen that more than a couple times so they this would be a a big thing they would have to benefit in a financial way for that for that to happen and the nra would most likely 
if they were to do it, they would most likely force us all to be members and to contribute and all that stuff. So hey, it, it's a it's a good idea, but I think strings would be attached. Everywhere you go, people are going to try to put strings on. But when it comes down to it, we're the ones with the dollars in our wallets, and they want our dollars. So they got to make us happy. And if we have suggestions about their products, there'd only be idiots not to listen to it. Well, okay. yeah, they, they do check social media. I, I can guarantee you that. They, they they Matter of fact, their marketing person is in charge of social media and, and watching what's being said out there. Mm -hmm. uh, companies like Glock don't, don't seem to care too much, but others do. Really, the gun companies already kind of have that. They've got the Outdoors Channel and... Um, another channel or two that are outdoors and those are basically that they've got bigger people you know that are making videos for them just consistently reviewing their stuff and selling it and they they've kind of already you know they might be able to expand on that but i mean they're certainly not going to put tons of people on you know a huge venue like that well i was just thinking if they had us all corralled into one platform just think of the advertising dollars that they would save because they're reaching their customers right there by just supplying us with a place to speak our mind and play with the stuff. I want to work for Keltec. They're real innovators. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, with the reloading companies and all that. Yeah, I'm sorry I got in late. My wife just, uh, we had a, an alert came through on our email and stuff here for the county there's a threat for the uh, largest high school here in our county tomorrow and the police put out a thing for anybody with information they said it's a viable threat so yeah that's the kind of thing so it's, that's our world today the day before school someone's good yeah tell them they're going to go in and shoot up the school tomorrow it's not uh, here in this area where we uh where i live they've got a boy uh well, they put him on. I forget. He made some threats to one of the high schools out here in uh, my area. And they, one kid was on the witness stand. I didn't see it all. I just caught a little bit of it. But he was standing there, and you could look at this kid and think, oh, my God. This, I told my wife, boy, he looks like a troubled young man. There, there's a kid locally who who got caught. Two two separate lockdowns. He's, play, he's facing 20 years. For terrorism. That's probably the one I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't want to mention, but he's out here in my area, so I don't yeah. want to yeah. name the area that's out here. So, uh, but I see where the Detroit uh, police captains, we're going to get off that subject, I guess. We'll just head somewhere else. He was talking today that there's been some viable threats in the Detroit public schools about kids carrying guns into school, and some of the parents are encouraging the kids to do that. And he says, please do not do that. No. Yeah. I mean, if the parents... Because there's not kids, enough coverage about this right now and stuff, you know, being mentioned about what a problem this is. So that's the recommendation for these parents is, okay, you need to take your gun in case somebody else brings a gun. That's, wow. Yeah, that's what the, basically the uh, uh, chief of police there in Detroit said, do not do this. It's not trying to do this. Trees, just so you know, you're you're crackling up again. It, it, it's, it's in and out, but starting about 10 to 12 minutes ago, it started really crackling up. It, it's hard to make out what you're saying. And then for a minute there, it came in crystal clear. So I'm, it, may, it might be my voice playing around with it, too. Yeah, we'll drop the bandwidth down a little bit more and see what we got. You know what all these schools need? They need right like my my daughter's high school has right in front of the office doors, fifty feet in front of the school, a mom and pop gun store. I mean, right outside, fifty feet from the main door. Wow! I love it. America. I know in Michigan there are laws in which. It has to be X amount of 
uh, yards or miles or something away from a school. We uh, we just got a new gun uh, store that opened up. It was up in Milford, Michigan. They wanted to expand, put them into a range in there. And uh, is this sounding all right? No, it's crackling. I don't know what's going on. It must be something in a computer or something. But anyway, they just they come up to uh, uh, right behind Walmart where you and I meet, Dan. They put a new gun shop in there, and it's almost right next door to an elementary school. Oh, really? Okay. So where, where was that? Milford, the township, or the city of Milford would improve it. So they come down here and got tools and uh, Hudson down here, which I do not live in uh, Hudson, but a different township. But uh, yeah, they build them. It's a nice store, but they won't talk about for everything else from I know, I know in South Carolina, I'm not sure what the laws are as far as a, a, a place that sells guns, that, but there are laws about firing guns within, you know, a thousand feet of a school or whatever. Um, but even with that, I think there's some grandfather clauses, like if your house is within that, but you're out of the city limits and you know, so it's a little, they might be a little gray area, but I, I know you're not supposed to shoot a gun within a thousand feet of a school, but you might can sell one, but I don't really know. Yeah, Speaking of the guns and the dilemma we have with uh, the new rules, which I guess take effect in April, I don't know, but it does make you wonder, like I, I just got this in yesterday not the gun, but the magazine extension, even though it sticks out a couple of inches over the barrel, you know, it kind of makes you wonder. It's like, well, can I do this video now and show off that I got a extension for my old Remington 870 here? Or, or is that taboo now? Can I not do that? You know, there's. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I've got like some uh, magazine different uh, followers that I'm putting that I've got ordered and should be here soon that I'm putting in like my MMP 22 mags that extend it to 15 rounds in the mags. So I've thought, well, but hell, I'm not going to be doing that video, you know, cause it's making it a, a deadly 15 round mag beyond the, the 12. Well, that's what uh, I did uh, this coming week. I was planning on going out and taking those KCI mags out to three, uh, 17 rounders and the 232 round, 33 rounders, whatever they are. I'll just do the 17 rounders. They don't need me doing over because they don't anything over 30 rounds because there's nothing to get nailed, you know. Is the sound any better? I turned the bandwidth down. No, more. no, it's the same. I don't know. It's got something in my sound card then. I to take the computer and get the sound card jacked on it. You know, when I'm interested in getting back to, you know, what the the rules, if you watch some of these gamers, they have uh, these video games that are blowing up people, blood and brains all over the place, getting millions of views, showing people how to get from one level to the next, killing people left and right, uh, advertisements like crazy all over the place. Are they on the hot seat too? You know? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, Dan, uh, I've just started a new channel, um, Zombie 1911, that is going to be strictly gaming. So let's not, not interfere. Let's not with go that. there. Are you a gamer, Rich? <laughs> yeah, but just not really a serious gamer. But I am going to be doing that channel specifically just gaming, like live stuff and things. Oh, okay. But I'm just kidding. No, go go ahead with your point. Sorry. No, it's just there, there's there's a a inconsistent there with with the game the gamers where they're blowing people up. They're they're going through all this uh, like pretty lifelike situations, shooting all types of full auto and everything else. 
I'm sure bringing in millions in ad revenue. And I haven't heard a damn thing about them being on the hook for uh, what's going on. Yet, if we review a gun and say, hey, this is a great product, check this out, we're in violation of their new policy. Yeah, you can even get sponsorship as a gaming channel. That's that's like my major deal to get a sponsor. Yeah. yeah. It's a major hypocrisy, hypocrisy going on there because you're right. I mean, not that I watch gaming channels, but I've seen little blips of – what's being played for the most part, all these call of duty and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's nothing but blood and mayhem and killing period. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only way you play the game is to kill mm -hmm. and, and it's all full auto, everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but like you say, that's actually some of their bread and butter right now. So they're not going to mess with that because they get millions of views. That's, that's the top YouTube channels right now, unless I'm mistaken. Well, you know, and, and that's what I don't understand. You know, if it's all about the the money, you look at some of the gun channels. If you put all the gun channels together, it's a pretty big community. You know, I know uh, makeup and and other things are very large as well, but but they got to have some pretty big pressures from their liberal communities to bounce to bounce us. Um, that's a lot of revenue leaving Google and it's at a time when they had a lot of their ad ads cut based on their sponsors. You know, I don't know I, if you're an outdoors company and you've been paying Google to run ads on their platform, would you still do it if all the gun channels were gone? You know, I mean, why would you run somebody out like that unless you're getting major political pressure from Bloomberg and Soros and some of those other blowhards in Hollywood? You know, there has to be something more behind it than just making a, a whim decision saying, hey, let's let's bounce these guys because they are dangerous. If if they said, listen, we're we 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 know that converting a rifle to full auto is illegal so therefore if you do that that's a violation i think we'd all be fine with that because i don't know anybody who does that but they did yeah, because nobody wants to go to jail well yeah, <laughs> yeah. right yeah, but, it's ridiculous yeah but when, they, when they i did. read that i think we even mentioned it on my chat the other night it's like well who in the world is uh committing a felony and putting it on youtube to start with i mean yeah. It, well, <laughs> back in the day, they were showing how to make bombs. They they were showing how to put fertilizer and nails and everything together to make a bomb. I don't know if those videos are still out there, but, you know, they they want to uh, regulate what they deem dangerous content. And there are people who are fist fighting all over the place, getting millions of views on, that somebody records on a cell phone. You know, we see violent content all over the web, and yet we do a gun review, and they say, whoa, 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 hey, that's against their new policy, because you are promoting a gun company. Yeah, and so there's crazy. absolutely no consistency there. And okay. then you add in the, the video games and everything else that is deemed violent, and yet we're, we're doing a gun review talking about a firearm. And they yeah. say that could fall in the category of promoting firearms. And it's like, I never go on like YouTube's got like this, you've got your homepage and subscriptions and like trending and whatnot. And like today I did, I clicked on like trending just for a second to see what was on there. Just in the, like the, in the top three, there was like a video, a trailer, um, advertising a movie coming up with just like guns all over it it was just like it's mm -hmm. just so hypocritical what they're doing yeah it would be nice to, to to go somewhere else and not have to worry about this but at the same token it may never be as big as this because google runs the search engine and you know 
that that's a big deal. That's where a lot of the traffic comes from. Somebody searching a gun, finding a YouTube video, watching the video, subscribing that to that person, and and the cycle goes on and on and on. Um, yeah, it, it's a like I say, it's kind of a wait and see right now. It really is. Um, I mean, they're getting more and more serious about pushing this out. And and that's a shame. It really is a shame. I mean, I'm not a huge channel. I don't I don't have that many subscribers and all, but you know, at the same time, looking at my analytics, even my little channel, but I've been on YouTube for a long time. I yeah, I'm not bragging, I'm just saying I've had a million and a half views. So that's a million and a half views that YouTube put by advertisements advertisements on it even before i monetize mm -hmm. you know i mean in, in my channel my last video i'm talking about work boots you know it's not like i got a one thing i do i've worked on my truck i've shot guns i've talked about boots you know how to sharpen a knife how to sharpen a chainsaw blade i mean i'm all over the place so, I mean, I'm not really a gun channel. I'm, I may do more gun stuff than anything, but, you know, I'm still all over the place and, and people seem to like it. Okay. And it's, it's going to be hard to find a niche for that. You know, that, that's why I'm kind of hesitant to even go to like just a gun channel and start doing videos there. You know, I mean, it's cause like, I don't, that's not all I do, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't really think there's much difference than like roosters, guns. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much all the same. <laughs> yeah, I, I started to say something, but I can't say that. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you got L Ray. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I know for me, if it happens, if I. If I end up happening to go to like Pornhub or something, I I could just see some hilarious content coming up eventually out of that. I, I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> that, that might be a good place for Lord Dragon Balls. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, Tr, you need some moose in that mohawk. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't put any moose. I've worked today. I got to wear a hairnet at work, so it kind of messes with when I try to spike it up. Boy, you had that thing spiked up there Tuesday night. I was looking at you. Well, yeah. Wednesday morning for me. I was like, boy, he's got that thing propped right up there. <laughs> yeah. You can turn your mic up a little bit, Don. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It, it ain't really affecting whether you've got static or not. You sound clear right now, just a little quiet. I turned it down because I didn't want to get it all. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's probably just Windows 10. I hate Windows 10. <laughs> well, it may be. I don't know. It's funny. It's just started the last probably the last month, I guess the last two chats. I thought maybe it was the mic and the computer had something to do with it, but evidently it ain't that. So yeah. you've yeah. probably been flagged on YouTube's hitting you with the, some yeah. type of a terror thing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> They're bugging my channel. My little old channel, they're bugging it. <laughs> That's it. That direct link to the ATF or CIA or whatever is probably interfering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, heck with them. <laughs> uh, like I said, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to ride it out. I'm not going to. I probably will curb some of my videos a little bit and watch what i say maybe as far as guns but at the same time i probably still gonna do a video on the extension you know i may not say the name brand or where i got it or whatever you know not to direct sell the product you know not that they gave it to me or anything which is stupid you know but anyway i don't know i was just gonna ride it out see what happened tm did a good uh, job on that the other day 
on installing one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to get kicked off YouTube, but I must be so small, you know. They're, they're, they they don't even notice me. That might be why some of my stuff, like I said, I can't see anything different now, but there again, I don't know that the changes really take effect or are they really going to go after anybody till April. So we'll, well see. It's kind of funny too. You've really only seen for the most part, like these really kind of big channels that got like the strikes and stuff. So, so I don't know. I mean, there may be something to that and, specifically to some of the things that these guys have said and done because I don't watch most of them so I don't know where they're at anymore as far as how you know how how far out there they are anymore yeah it kind of puts us in a little pickle right now I don't, you know you you don't know whether to push it just do the same thing see what happens you know and fight it or back off a little bit, let it, let it settle down. You know, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I probably going to do the same thing I normally do. I, like I said, there might be a few videos that I may, may not do or may change how I do the video. Um, like I said, normally, like if I do that shotgun thing, I'll say, you know, I would tell you what brand I bought. Not that it's the best brand. That's just happened to be the brand I bought, blah, blah, blah. So, <clears throat> which, as somebody else said earlier, you know, I mean, it's it's educational videos. I mean, because we work on our own stuff. We modify our own stuff, you know. And if I'm looking at modifying something and I got something in mind I want to do, I go to YouTube and look at videos. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like I put a little bit of paint on the front side of this 1911 today. So does that make it now I can can acquire a target faster? And so I've I've modified it to, you know, become more dangerous. I, I don't know. You know, the some of the commercial we're going to change the subject here just for a second. I don't know about you guys, but there's one commercial on all you get. Seems like it's on every video I watch. It's got this English girl sitting in the potty and the door open. I hate to poop in public. Poopery. And then, it the, and then it shows her out in the office sitting on the toilet. Have you guys seen that yet? Yeah, I mean, yeah that's the poopery girl. She's a funny yeah, yeah. Girl, See, i hate pooping in public of course she's got the british accent or whatever it is yeah that, that's the one that uh insight should have used for his video when he's doing his um sub me one <laughs> <laughs> some of that you know that's the only one i seem to get once in a while i'll get uh, the nra or uh one of the holster companies but every time i look at a video there she is i'm thinking good <laughs> god she wears a pink dress just Pay attention to some of that if you guys get it and see what you think of it. Oh, yeah, I've seen it before. Have you? Well, I mean, you know, and, and not that we can argue with YouTube or whatever, but I'm like, you know, when I see I see holster commercials, I see uh, like advertisements for like it's gun related, something to do with CWP or legal action or so anyway uh, <laughs> nra commercials i see ford chevrolet all kind of car manufacturers guess what gun people buy freaking cars we especially buy trucks you can't tell me there's not a damn market for gun related people we're regular people i go to work and punch a clock every day i gotta drive there i gotta drive back i drive a freaking truck uh, you know, there we buy the same products everybody else buys. I buy toilet paper. I buy snack foods. I buy. I mean, there's nothing gun people do that normal people don't do because <laughs> we are normal. They just don't realize it. <laughs> right. 
it's that commercial every time I see it. it maybe they know it bugs me or something. Or, I don't know, but it's just, I just think, it, good God, give me something else for a change. There for a while, it was USCCA, the United States Concealed Carry Association, which I still see that occasionally, but I don't see it. It's got to be this girl opening this toilet and say, I hate to poop in public. <laughs> well, I imagine most of us do that. I hate to poop in public. <laughs> I see a lot of the, the mattress commercial with uh, some woman dropping eggs on a mattress. And then there's like a Bigfoot commercials. I see a lot of those where that, I think that might be another mattress company. So, so maybe they've, uh, you know, they're tailoring it to our, our searches or something. But anyway, well, before we get close to the end, I'm going to pull a quiz on you guys tonight. Now, this is not your carry gun. What's the closest gun to you loaded right now? Why can't we have our carry gun? That would be the no, one, right? Not your carry gun. No, I got my carry gun right here. This is a gun that I just got laying on the bench that I keep laid on there. It's a CZ4. Well, I mean, I'm, the, I'm in front of two safes, and these know, are mostly all loaded, so I may win this got one. Access to right now. I mean, if you had to reach for a gun, not your carry gun, what would you be grabbing? <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh, the ATI 1911 <coughs> next to me right now. Yeah. Oh, is that that new one? Yeah, I ain't even. I didn't even watched any videos today. I seen you watching the box thing, but I haven't. Uh, haven't watched any yet today. Well, well, made Remington 870. There's not one in the chamber, but the tube is loaded. I got seven rounds of 12 gauge <laughs> ready to go. Good enough. And I do have my carry gun right behind me. Little CZ clone, uh, TriStar, Kinnick or Genick. That's a sweet gun. I love that little thing, man. That thing is an awesome little gun. Yeah, that is a good gun. We've got Glocks and what? Stigs and M&Ps out there. Browning, pump shotgun, Glock 42, Ruger LCR. I bet nobody has a Life Card 22. <laughs> no, nobody's I, popped that up there yet. Yeah, I guarantee nobody has that one. I got my carry gun within arm's length. I got everything back here. And a life card 22 about four feet away. I'm just sitting here. I got my carry gun and, well, within reach, my wife's carry gun. And, yes, they're both loaded. And you feel safe. All right, guys, I want to go out to the side chat. We've had a lot of activity out there. I hope I got everybody. We had reloading from the hot spot, which is 1911. It ain't just paint, Alan B. Pro, Keith Gregory. Glad you got your name back, Alan. Insight Freedom, Daniel God is my judge. Fuzz Fork 8, Curious Yellow Solar, Firearms 101, Swigger 70, Alaskan Ballistics. If anybody hasn't seen him, he's got some good stuff. Tool Monkey just jumped in there. HRM Weapons, Stalker Steve, Dexter 122181, Warthog. Southern Style 357, Shooting with Uncle Dan, Robin Jones, Crazy Scots from Gun Wild, Pops Quest, MCK, and 1776 or Bust. If I missed anybody, I apologize. So I just wanted to give all of you a shout out and a thank you. So we got about five minutes to go. If you guys want to throw something else out there, we can go at it. Well, TR brought out that shotgun a couple of times. Why don't we take a minute and talk about shotguns and uh, maybe just mention what our favorite shotgun is, what we have. And if we don't have a shotgun, we could say uh, a shotgun that we have fired before that we like. The only shotgun I got, old 12 gauge H&R, sitting right over here at the side of my bench. Nice, nice. I keep a, I keep a, I've got a 590 that I like a lot, and then I've got a, a, a Maverick 88 that I have set up with an adjustable stock and pistol grip on it, 
and a rail that I keep a light on that sits beside my bed. And that's kind of like my home defense shotgun. Well, I've owned a couple of Mossbergs. I actually have a Mossberg 500 right now, but, and I always knew the 870, you could put the extended, extended tube on it. And I come across this, you know, police special or police trade in for 200 bucks and then got the extension on there. And right now I have to say, this is my favorite shotgun because I don't necessarily like to keep one chambered, but with seven rounds in that, I don't care if it's bird shot. This right here to me, a 12 gauge pump action shotgun is the ultimate home defense weapon. Yep. And this right now is going to be in my bedroom. <laughs> nice. That was a good deal on that. You and Tool Monkey got on that. I can't ever run across a deal like that. Yeah. He called me. I was on, like I said, I was on my way home from buying that Glock 21. He was like, hey, I got a, 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 a you know, a, a run on, a, I mean, I got a, 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 whatever, you know. Hey, I found, yeah, this guy's got a bunch of Remington 870s for 200 bucks. You want one? You need to run down here and get it. And I was like, I just bought a gun. <laughs> <laughs> But for 200 bucks, guess what? I drove the fountain in and I bought me a damn shotgun. <laughs> Good move. I see now. I thought, dad, gum. Yeah, my, the gun, the shotgun I grew up with is an 1187. I wouldn't mind getting 1100, but when I make it down to the farm, I want to see if any Benelli M2s make their way into my truck. So pops better keep an eye on that sucker. <laughs> Yeah, him, Coda Boy, and Is Your Six Covered, they enter their three gun auto loaders with a tube that sticks out two foot past the barrel. And <laughs> Could you imagine taking that rabbit hunting? You'd be hitting every tree around. <laughs> Pop says, Daniel, laugh out loud. Maybe bring cash. <laughs> Well, I'll share uh, one of mine. I've got a TriStar KRX that is a semi-auto with a five-round, and they give you two mags, two five-round mags that is pretty awesome. Uh, I've got uh, an extended tube on my Mossberg 930 that holds nine rounds. That's semi-auto. And... Um, I got my tube from uh, Nordic's Components, TR. Not sure if that's where you got yours, but it's they make they make good stuff, good quality tube there. Holds nine rounds semi-auto. Uh, two 870s, one, the both express tacticals. One's uh, pump action, tube fed. The other one's pump action, magazine fed. And an H&R 20 gauge. At the so last gun show, I was looking at a TriStar uh, shotgun, Dan. Yeah, the, you know, the I, I have the KRX semi-auto, but some of the other models are pretty nice, really nice. Now, this one looked, uh, Randy's gun shop had it out there. It really looked like a nice shotgun. It's back on next week. I may go over and take another look at it. I can't remember if it was a pump or semi-automatic. Yeah, they, they make them all, or, or shall I say, they import them all. Right. I don't know what it is. You guys may or may not feel the same way, but for me, as much as I love, I'm a more of a pistol guy. I, I do have my ARs and AK and different rifles and stuff like that. But I have to say, shooting a shotgun really puts a really big smile on my face. I love shooting a shotgun. <laughs> I'm not even saying I'm a great skeet shooter or anything like that. I love shooting skeet. I love just shooting stuff and seeing it blow up you know? <laughs> not necessarily blow up but just disintegrate you know i mean i love sh shotguns <laughs> mm -hmm. there, there's something about shotguns that's pretty pretty outstanding i don't think i could have you'd ever got a bigger smile on your face the first time you shot that winchester 45 though you look like a kid on Christmas morning when you're shooting that thing. 
Yeah, now I do love my dad. That that eight, that Winchester eighteen seventy three. That is a I love that thing. Even though it jammed up on me, which it was my ammo, my fault. I fixed that problem. I know now what to do. But uh, yeah, that, that, that thing is a sweet shooter. I love that thing. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm right, kind guys, of, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying, I mean, I just love guns. That's why I like my single actions, the lever actions, the pump action shotgun. It ain't got to be fancy. It ain't got to be slick. It ain't got to be the latest technology. I mean, just a good shooting gun. I, I, I got a smile on my face and I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to prepare to close so we're gonna let you guys do some outros sks you go just jumped in there along with dish outdoors give you guys a couple quick shout outs dan we'll uh start with you and let just go down the line and uh whatever you got coming up whatnot well i uh i i put a video up about an hour prior to the chat talked about uh youtube and some of the things going on there okay it's it's old news but i gave my thoughts on it and uh currently sir out other platform on saturday we have a 2a rally uh trees if you're up for it i'd love to pick you up and take you out to lansing i don't know if it's going to be well attended or not the michigan militia is running it and uh, i plan to interview a couple of those guys because the media really did a hack job on their their purpose and their goals and what they do. The media makes it seem like they're a bunch of in-state terrorists, and they're not. And so uh, I kind of want to bring uh, to light that. And other than that, it's been a great chat, and I appreciate you, Trees, and everybody on the panel. Well, I got to work Saturday, Dan, but I understand – the teeny boppers are going to be over in Lansing Saturday also. Yeah, they are. They have that. the morning scheduled and we have the afternoon scheduled. So talk about Clash of the Clans. Um, okay. Yeah. Daniel? Okay, I had to unmute me. Hi, yeah, well, thanks for the invite. Uh, I have been out of touch. I've been at the veterinarian's office all day. But uh, guys, it, TR, Trees, Rick, Dan, been once again it's been great and everybody in the side chat thanks rich well i appreciate the invite don and uh just want to remind everybody i do have the new gaming channel coming up i don't have any gaming videos on it there's there's one video on it but ironically it's not a gaming video it's on a zombie 1911 so uh so be sure and check that out sub him up and uh and uh, of course, I got the chat going on Saturday night, and uh, and we will be playing Jeopardy. I, I've made an easier game, so I'm hoping that the guys can uh, can actually get into positive figures on that this weekend. So uh, once again, appreciate it. Enjoyed talking to all y'all, and good times. Tr. Well, thanks for having me on, Don. I always appreciate it. It's always a good chat. Great chat. I look forward to it every time we do it. And uh, just uh, appreciate uh, the invite. And uh, thanks, guys. Uh, it's always a good conversation. Appreciate it. Well, I will thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I want to thank everybody that joined us tonight. We had 36 viewers, I believe, and a lot of stuff going on out there. And it goes so fast, guys. I can't keep up with it all. I try to watch it and see what you guys are saying, but it just goes too quick when it's this active. So I apologize for that. But with that, we're going to say good night. And hopefully in two weeks, we'll give this thing another whirl. So y'all be safe. <laughs>